Hello everyone, um, my name is Jennifer Kinsley and for this movie response assignment I decided to do it on The Theory of Everything. So The Theory of Everything is a 2014 film which is on Netflix if anybody wants to go and see it. Uh, it's based on a true story on Stephen Hawking. So Stephen Hawking is literally a genius and was going to school at Cambridge University he ended up getting uh, the Lou Gehrig's disease, also known as ALS, which is where you lose all like control in your body, but like he's still able to think by the end of the movie. Um, so at the beginning, he meets this girl at a party at their school called Jane Wilde. And so for the rest of this presentation, we're going to be looking at the relationship that Jane and Stephen have with each other and basing it off the concepts from NAP stages of relational development. So uh, this model is made by Mark Knapp in 1978, and it focuses primarily on how relationships develop and how communication can change the relationships that we have with one another. So there are 10 total steps or stages to this model. Five of them being the coming together stages, which we'll get into it more uh, throughout the presentation. So the first one is initiating. The second one is experimenting. The third one is intensifying. Fourth is integrating. And the fifth is bonding. And then after these five stages comes the coming apart stages. And these stages are the complete opposite of the first five where you see the relationship growing together in like a, a positive way. And then in some cases, these steps will come in where the relationship now takes a negative toll on each other and some sometimes can end in um, them not being together anymore. Whether that be a romantic relationship, a friendship that you have with one other person, really any interpersonal relationship that one, indivi in one individual has with one other. So the coming apart stages is differentiating, circumscribing, stagnating, avoiding, and terminating. So now we're going to look at how these movies, how this movie has incorporated these stages in the film. So the first one we have is the initiating stage. And the definition of this by Weston Turner would be two people notice one another and indicate to each other that they are interested in making contact. So we see a an example of this in the movie at the very beginning, um, minute two, uh, 53. So now I'm going to show you a video of the initiated stage. Oh, he's here. Oh, he's strange. Clever. He goes to ban the bomb marches. <laughs> Why? So in this video, it shows initiating because initiating is the stage where you really just like say hello to each other. You know that you both are interested in continuing a conversation. So that's what happened here where Steven, the main character, the main male character, goes up to Jane and says hello. So then after this, we have the experimenting stage, which is where people become acquainted with one another. And within this, you'll see a lot of small talk, which is defined as interactions that are relaxed, pleasant, uncritical, and casual. And this actually happened between these two right after the initiating stage. So now we have a video for that. French and Spanish. What about you? What, what are you? Oh, cosmologist. I'm a cosmologist. What's that? It's a kind of religion for intelligent atheists. Intelligent atheists? They're not religious, are you? C of E. Church of England? England yeah. 
So that's just them like getting to know each other a little bit. And throughout this movie, I actually saw a lot of the experimenting stage. I feel like in relationships in general, that's really just happens a lot before you can move into the next stage of intensifying. So the intensifying stage begins to move the relationship to a closeness not seen in the previous stages. Intensifying refers to deepening intimacy in the relationships. So this could be calling each other by nicknames or, you know, uh, being saying terms of endearment and things like that. Um, so I have an example of that from the movie, which happens a uh, bit through to through the movie, sorry, at uh, minute 35. And this scene happens right after he was diagnosed with ALS and he's starting to like lose function and everything. So uh, Jane and him were out playing a game and you could just see like how um, stressed he was with the condition that he was in. And so he went back to his room and then this scene occurs. Leave me now. Are you going to talk about this or not? Please, just go. Is that what you want? Yes, it is what I want, so please, if you care about me at all, then please just go. I can't. I have two years to live. I need to work. I love you. you, you, uh, you you've left her. That's a false conclusion. I want us to be together for as long as we've got, and if that's not very long, well, then that's just how it is. It'll have to do. You don't know what's coming. It'll affect everything. So this is an example of that stage because they do, well, she says to him that he lo that she loves him and that she she'll be with him for everything, through all of his illnesses. The next stage is the integrating stage. So this is when two people form a, cl a clear identity as a couple. So it would be like when like Jane goes somewhere, like everyone expects, expects Stephen to be there as well. And then an example of this would be here where she says, we are going to fight this illness together. So you s see integrating when you see we, you're referring to something that has to happen together. It's both of you together. Um, so she actually had this conversation with his dad where his dad was like, this is going to be really, really hard on both of you. And she was like, well, we're going to get through this together because they love each other. Um, and then the final stage of the coming together part is the bonding stage, which refers to a public commitment of the relationship. So this a prime example of this would be getting married and which they do, which is shown here. They get married and they have children and start a family. And that's just a little preview of their marriage and them having children together. So next we have the coming apart stages, which starts off with the differentiating stage. This refers to highlighting the individuality of the partners. So I just have a picture for this one to show you guys how Stephen's illness has been progressively getting worse and worse, where he's not able to care for himself at all. So this becomes more of Instead of them doing things together, it's Jane having to do things for Stephen due to his illness. Not that it ha it's not that they want it to be that way. It kind of just has to be that way since he's um, not functioning fully. So this just sh like that's just an example of how uh, they started to differentiate, and it's becoming a lot harder on Jane having to care for Stephen twenty four seven as if like she's caring for a child. The next stage would be the circumscribing stage, which refers to restraining communication behavior so that fewer topics are raised for the fear of conflict and more issues are out of bounds. So for this, I picked the, an example that has to do with this, main, this uh, male here, Jonathan, who is the conductor of the, her church, Jane's church choir, where they, he ends up coming into the house and helping Jane with Stephen, but as that happens, Jonathan and 
Jane's relationship progresses and they ended up having feelings for each other, but um, Stephen does not know anything about this. He's unaware. He thinks that Jonathan is just there to like help um, take care of Stephen, which was the case, but then it got deeper, but Stephen is unaware of this. So then the next stage of coming apart is the stagnating stage, which consists of extending circumscribing so much that the partners virtually no longer talk to each other. So this means that as seen in the last stage, Stephen is unaware of Jonathan. So it just um, continually, continually goes on where they aren't fully open with each other or how they used to be. They don't communicate how they used to be. So an example of that is this scene from the movie. You always used to tell me when an invitation came in. Another award. What can you do? I am sorry. So in this scene, you can see that Stephen has received an award, which he would usually go ahead and tell Jane about that right off the bat. But instead, he told a caregiver that came in, Elaine is her name. And so she came in to care for Stephen around the clock. And so Stephen had told her instead of telling Jane about it. And that just shows that their communication is not where it used to be and they're holding back information, whether that be to avoid conflict or because they are no longer um, interested in the relationship they have or whatnot, it, the, it varies. Um, and then the next stage is the avoiding stage. So if a relationship stagnates for too long, which we have seen in this movie, the partners may decide that the relationship is unpleasant. As a result, they move to the avoiding stage, a stage where partners try to stay out of the same physical environment. So in this movie, um, avoiding is not present due to the fact that Jane has to take care of Stephen for all of his needs, like going to the bathroom, putting him in bed, changing his clothes, like anything you, you could think of an infant having um, to go through, like needing help for, that's pretty much what he is doing as well. So that's why I think avoiding is not present in this stage. Although they had Elaine come in and be a caregiver as well as Jane, Jane is still there to assist in caring for him. So there really was not a point where they weren't with each other. And then the last stage is the terminating stage, which comes after the relationship partners have decided either jointly or individually to part permanently. Now it is unaware in this movie if it was on both ends. Um, that I'm not sure of, but in this video, we can see Jane terminating the relationship with Stephen. I have loved you. I did my best. So that shows the terminating stage and that's all the stages that we have. Although nine out of 10 of these stages, stages were prominent in this movie, that does not mean that every relationship has to have all 10. Some of them don't have, don't go terminating at all. It really just depends on the relationship that you have with that one individual. Um, also at the end of the, after they ended up getting divorced, Stephen ended up marrying Elaine, the caregiver that had come in, and Jane ended up marrying uh, Jonathan. Both parties, they still keep in contact with each other. They had a great impact on each other's relationship. So although their relationship ended, like their marriage ended, doesn't didn't, it doesn't necessarily mean that their association with each other no longer exists. And that is the end of my presentation and here are the